Welcome to Blood, Sweat, and Beers. I'm V-Money. And I'm Robbie. And we got a very special episode today. It's our season finale, and we moving over to East Coast Beer. So today we got a 120 minute IPA. From Dogfish Head out in Delaware. This thing is a whopping 15 to 20% ABV, because apparently it's different in every single bottle. Sweet. Either way, any part of that range is really strong. So we and it is, get messed up. Yeah, it's 120 IBU, so it's not just strong hops, it's strong alcohol. I'm excited to try this thing. I've never had it before. And today we got a very special guest. Yes, man, yeah. we got somebody for my blood, sweat, and beers family coming in. So I'm gonna bring my girl Sarah out. Hi Welcome. guys. Welcome. Oh, that's um, what is a bird call? But when you do the call. <laughs> So oh, one thing wonderful. about this beer though, man, it's hard to find in the oh, West yeah. Coast. It's only distributed in certain states. So I had to hustle this beer up. I just want to give a shout out to my boy, Mikey, cause uh, he done hooked the sister up. Thanks, Mikey. I'm Mike. just saying. Thanks, Mikey. As Alrighty. our guest, you know how oh, it works. Sorry. You get to pour us. Popping bottles. I got really fucked up last time. And my homegirl Angela was all like, you need a little baby glass. Okay. Well, cheers to cheers. A, a season one finale. It's been a great right, cheers, run this season. Absolutely. Okay. Ooh wee! God oh damn. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. <laughs> that is That's awesome. so flavorful. It smelled like a orange peel kind of. It's very sweet and very smooth well, to me. I think part of that is because the alcohol is so strong oh that goodness. I'm just tasting uh -huh. the alcohol run down yeah. my throat at the end. And that's what I think this a lot is... of that sweetness is. Like when you have those strong yeah. Belgians, as we've discovered, you often can taste the alcohol and that adds a sweetness of its own yeah. to ready the sweetness of the beer. That's... And then I think that those hops come in a sudden burst in the middle. It kicks are... you in the throat. Yeah. This is really good. I rescind my previous statement where about, about it, easy, it being so yeah, easy you're to drink rescinding shit. because the more I drink it, obviously the more it hits me because of the high alcohol content. Sure. The flavor builds on itself. Agreed. So yeah. it's very, it's getting stronger in flavor as well as making me slightly tipsy. Mm. Well, this is multi as a motherfucker, man. But I'm still not getting the hops I'm that still I expected not the from hops it. Either, so right. with like a triple IPA, they're so bitter and so hoppy and mm. it's awesome but you that hop lingers this is more like the alcohol is lingering i feel like you kind of do get a little hoppy at the end though it gives mm -hmm. you like a little kick yeah. and it also right. has that like Absolutely. whiskey flavor so this is a continuously hop ipa mm. dogfish head is the only commercial brewery to actually continuously hop their beers it's up. crazy that the flavor of the hops is completely covered up by the warmth of the alcohol and i think another interesting thing about this beer is that it does age well unlike other ipas and shit they like have you date. Right. And this Aeration. one, the longer you have it though, it's it, like tastes, a fun it tastes like 100, you know? This is a slap your mama good. But again, I would never slap my She'll mama. Never slap her mama. I'm just gonna say that. I would never have slap my mama. Have to reinforce that, she wouldn't. But it's, it's, it's that expression. good. I would not rate it slap my mama only because I don't think that I could drink a whole bottle of this. Personally, I would give it a seven because it lacks, to me, full drinkability. What do you think though, player? I'm giving it a nine. <laughs> a nine. Oh, nice. I like the nine. Like, yeah. I'm always yeah. a little tough with my ratings. I've realized that. Mm -hmm. This thing's just fascinating. I like experimentation in the beers. Hey guys, this has been a great episode of Blessed Wedding yeah. Beer. Absolutely. Sarah, thanks for joining thanks us. So thank you for this having me. Thank you so much. Join us next season. We'll be hitting up a bunch of East Coast breweries. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, and uh, to season two and to moving on two. to the East Coast. Yeah. yeah. But not physically. Oh. There is a saint of beers and his name is Saint Arnold of Soizan. The patron saint of hop pickers and Belgian brewers, Arnold started out as a soldier before settling in the Benedictine Saint Menard army in Soizan, France. Within his first three years there, he rose to be abbot, the head of the monastery. Legend has it that he tried to refuse this honor and flee, but a wolf found him and forced him to return. He became a priest soon after and went on to become Bishop of Soizan. Eventually, he retired from public life and founded the Abbey of St. Peter, where he brewed his own beers. He encouraged local peasants to drink his beer due to its gift of health. He was so convinced of its health benefits that at the time of the Black Death epidemic, he had local Christians drink his alcohol alcoholic brews rather than the infected water. Many people in his church survived the plague because during the process of brewing, the water was boiled and thus freed of the pathogens that were causing the disease. Now, who said beer couldn't save lives? Hey, don't forget to get your blessed one beer shirts though, they're the mm -hmm. 
dub, aka twenty dollars. Some of y'all don't know what a dub is. I didn't know what a what dub is. What is a dub? They need to put the national bank. Harriet Tubman yes. on the twenty, yeah. so we can call them tubs. 